COVID-19 or coronavirus disease. It's a condition that has caused unprecedented changes in the way we live our lives. Today, I'm going to show you my infection control and sanitization techniques I stringently apply as a podiatrist to minimize contamination of my home. I'm going to show you products I use, one of which specifically proven to kill COVID-19, and areas I clean that you might not necessarily think of cleaning yourself. So I hope you enjoy this video. So my preventative measures start before I enter my home. I have a bottle of hand sanitizer at the entrance to my house from my garage and I use this before opening the door and touching the door handle. So my hand sanitizer of choice is Debug and don't quote me on this but I remember doing research for an infection control project at uni and remember reading that hand sanitizer is not effective after seven consecutive uses so after you use it seven times in a row you must wash your hands again. So after I open my door I place my shoes on the shoe rack and leave them outside. I do not take any of my work shoes inside my home. But if I was in a situation like an apartment where I couldn't leave my shoes outside or there are a nice pair of shoes that I don't want to ruin from getting dust or anything on them like that, I use a product called Viraclean. So this is actually the star product of the video and it's proven to kill coronaviruses including COVID-19. So after I spray the bottom of the shoe that I want to take inside, I leave it for 10 minutes, let it dry and then bring it in. After I've touched my shoes to either leave them on the shoe rack or clean the soles, I perform hand hygiene again with a hand sanitizer uh, before closing the door and touching the handle. So for use inside my house, I have a pair of thongs I wear because, well, hello, I'm Australian and we wear thongs everywhere. <laughs> but no, on a serious note, thongs are easy to clean versus slippers, which are likely to build up bacteria and fungus inside. The very first thing I do when I come inside is clean my phone. I have a little tray on my kitchen counter with a canister of cotton balls. And I also have another bottle of debug, which I use to wipe down my phone. Then it's straight to the laundry for me to wash my hands. Now washing hands with soap is always preferred over waterless hand hygiene methods because soap is able to dissolve the fatty or lipid membrane which causes the virus to fall apart. Now to be effective you must wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. For cleaning surfaces around the house, I like to use these wipes. Now, one of these sheets of wipes are quite big, so I like to cut them up to reduce the waste as I do dispose of the pieces that I use. Now I'm going to go through specific areas I like to wipe down which I classify as high hand traffic areas and to wipe these areas I use a product called Surgi Prep C which contains chlorhexidine. Now I like to use chlorhexidine or this specific product because it contains alcohol and I actually use chlorhex at work because um, it's safe to use on feet or skin and um, I have access to chlorhex by virtue of my Job, but if you can't access this specific product, you can always use rubbing alcohol on these areas. Now, some of you may think this next part is a little extra or crazy, but I actually wipe down grocery products too. After I go shopping, I place the bag on the floor and pick up each item, wipe them down before I put them on the counter because there have unfortunately been cases of people spitting on food and a lot of people touch products and put them back on the shelves and they could have just been picking their nose or something and I don't want to be touching that so just to be safe I wipe that down too. Food prep areas like kitchen bench tops I like to wipe down the surfaces with liquid soap and I love this organic one you can use on dishes and your hands. Um, once I go over an area with the soap and sponge I wring out the soap and then I just go over it again with water just to get rid of any excess soap 
I typically like to do floors last because when I'm wiping down the higher surfaces, if anything spills over to the floors, I can then clean it up and I don't have to go back and forth. But I start by vacuuming all areas before I get into mopping. And after the vacuuming, but before the mopping, I like to use this foaming sanitizer and deodorizer for carpets and fabrics. And this is a no vac product, so no need to clean it off once you use it. And the final thing I do is mop the floors. Now I love to use floor wipes. I never use a mop and bucket because I just feel like you can't clean the mop fibers that well. And with these wipes, you use it once and throw it out and it's just more hygienic. And with mopping, yes, there is a method to my madness too. I start off with low foot traffic areas first and then go to high traffic areas last, like in front of doors, just to reduce the spread of dirt or bacteria to the other areas and that brings us to the end of the video if you found this video informative and useful please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me and i'll see you guys in my next one bye